Welcome back to day two of the Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championships 2023 here at Harris Casino in Atlantic City. And we have another one loss side match for you between Veronica Ivanovskaya of Germany and Amalia Matas from Spain. Your referee for this one is John Lehman. It's WPA rules race to seven. Winner breaks, one on the spot, no three point rule on Mark White. Joining me in the booth once again, the flowing fountain of knowledge that is Tony Robles. Great to be back. Always great to be back and share this booth with one of the best in the business, you, Mark. Well, thank you for your your lies. <laughs> no, I'm it's joking. not a lie. Thank you so much, mate. Right, so the leg was won by Amalia. But it was a dry break. Have you watched this young lady play before? Yeah, I certainly have. I've uh, had a lot of interaction with Veronica, actually, over the years. Very, very determined player from Germany, terrific technique, very, very dedicated. Knows what she wants to do, where she wants to be, and she's doing everything to get there, Tony. A bit like what you said in our last match, you know? Are you prepared to do what it takes? Yeah. And that's one lady who is 100% committed, actually married to a pool player. What a nice kick shot there by Amalia. When I say married, I mean long-term partner. But yeah, she finished the highest of any woman a couple of years ago in a, one of the matchroom events. I think it was the World Pool Championships, actually. Oh, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to, to watching her play. I've never seen her play. I saw her practicing kicks earlier on, and she was going wide all the time, having trouble with the slide. Let's see if she sorted it out. Yeah, and there you see again. And I was just talking to Elise Kiu and congratulating her on a great fight and how well, and I was explaining to her about how when she was stroking the ball, she looked so fabulous, Tony. And, uh, you know, she said she wasn't scared of Margaret. She knows I can beat her. It's just that it was her first time ever on the match table. Now, you did bring that up, didn't you? Oh, so she had never played a TV She'd match before. She never played a TV match okay. before. So, And she said she was struggling with the slide. So here we go. Amalia, a great left-hander from Spain. Good prospect. Oh, she's overhit this. Oh, she, she's okay. Oh, she's overhit it in a good way. Yeah. If anything, I, that's actually a better spot to be because now you don't have to worry about contending with the seven. She might be able to draw past it or go underneath it. But I, th I think she might be able to hit it full enough to go past it. Yep. Yeah, she's a good player. This I really enjoy watching Amalia. I love watching Amalia play. Every time that uh, they have a men's and women's event together in the same venue, you always have uh, David and Francisco come support her. Yeah, always. And also Mighty Repero, another mm -hmm. great talent from Spain, is here as well. She's just played. I'm not sure if she won, but I will check. And if you guys at home watching, you want to check out any of the information you can go to probilliardseries.com everything you need to know the schedule where to watch how to watch it's all there oh well a little lapse in concentration maybe amalia was knocked to the loser side by jin haiju from south korea and veronica had a battle against her German teammate Kim Witzel yesterday and Veronica went down 7-2. Quite a heavy defeat. Oh, wow.
Now look at that speed control there. Yeah, I want you to watch this young lady and tell me what you think. I mean, I can tell right away the way she just stepped into that shot and lined up her body perfectly with that five ball. She's got this kind of commanding presence around the table, you know, like she owns that arena at the moment. This is mine. I love that. Does a lot of things right. Yeah, that's the type of confidence that helps win events. It's right in line with her cue and the shot as well. Good stuff in the opening rack. Taking a chance. Race to seven, remember. Very nice, goes. very nice. What I'm impressed. To that I'm impressed. Very impressed. The opening rack, and what that will do is tell Amalia that if she misses, Veronica will take advantage of it. And there's seven other games going on on the one loss side as well. Remember, whoever loses this one is out of the 2023 Kamui Women's World Nine Ball Championship. Amalia there. Free John Lehman using the new aero rack. Squeezing them balls up. Get them nice and tight, John. He's been doing a fantastic job as always. Reminds me of Marcel Marceau in them gloves. I think they expect him to do a little bit of a mime. <laughs> so let's have a look at Veronica's break. straight in yeah cubo started rolling forward but uh was kicked back up to the middle of the table yeah, she's got a shot on the one as well tony mm -hmm. didn't strike them perfect but she's had a result from it i wonder will we see a set run in this tournament there's enough quality here yeah, we've had a couple of players that uh, have already run four or five racks in a row. We have, yeah. Nice. Wow. Oh, a nice little bumperoni as well on the four. Came off the six and then it just enough to straighten yeah. out the cue ball to come off dead square on the four. And the four went right past the six to where she can make it in the corner if she wants. Yeah, I think her partner, Richard Halliday, I think his name is, South African. He's a player himself. He'll be watching. Hope you're doing well, mate. And he'll be very impressed with what he's seen in these opening two racks from this young lady. I mean, it's what's impressing me a lot is she gets down on that ball so perfectly, it almost looks like it's impossible for her to miss because of how perfectly aligned she is. It's, it's, it's crazy. 
Steve Davis once, I don't want to name drop or anything, but Steve Davis once said to me, if you get as much in line as you possibly can, I mean, he's the first guy that ever turned both feet towards the shot, you know, in his stance. And he said, the more you can get in a straight line, the more chance you've got of the cue going where you're aiming. And if you're aiming straight, then that's going in. Good advice. Predictability. Perfect once again. Right in the heart of the pocket. Yeah. Right on the nine ball for a two. Zero lead. Brace to seven. And it goes. Tony, we're gonna we're just gonna nip out for a minute. We'll come back soon. traffic down the autobahn so far veronica ivanovskaya it's one of them names i like saying i learned to say it and i want to say it as much as i can yeah? <laughs> <laughs> i mean judging for the first two racks mark i i can definitely see her run a set out crunching break again white ball got kicked has she got a shot on the one? I think she's going to if the six gets out of the way. It has. Now look Ooh. at this, Tony. Natural ang angle to come across for the two into the bottom left as well. Yeah, she's struggling a bit on the break to hit the cue ball dead center. It's the second time that she broke where she had spin, side spin on the ball, on the cue ball and forward momentum. Look, she's coming to see. She's going for it because she's looking to see where she wants that cue ball for the two. She's got the technique to play this, even though it's close to the rail. She'll walk in online. Dead centre ball striking. Wow. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that was not an easy shot, was it? No, and ne neither is this one. Look at that, right in the heart of the pocket. Didn't touch the sides, Tony. No, went straight in. You can almost see the cogs clicking round in her brain there. Extension called. Big, big shot again, though. Digging down on this. Don't be surprised if she knocks this in down the rail. Oh, wow. Mighty close. Wow. Yeah. Now then, a chance for Amalia, I think. I think it goes past. It does. It goes past the nine ball. It does. I think the six might go past the nine ball too. She got mighty close to it. Yeah, but 
make no mistake, this girl can do exactly yeah. the same as well. Very talented left hand up. Yeah, she unfortunately got on the wrong side of the three. Yeah, I'm wondering, can she use the... Can <laughs> she bump, bump into the 6-9 here? I don't mind that, you know. She has the angle to do that. I don't know if she needs yeah, to. Yeah, I like that. Just use it, you know. What well, did she bump into it enough to where she sent the nine ball low enough so that the six goes in the lower left-hand corner? Yes. It looks like she did. There's your Is answer. It? Yeah, no, then that's, that's a smart shot then. Very smart shot. Yeah, beautiful yeah, shot. Very nice. Stroked it in. <clears throat> she would have seen from the first two racks how good her opponent is playing so that was a good pressure shot Tony very good pressure shot this is another one here so easy to overcut these balls when you're trying to roll them in Mark <coughs> played it to Rouse it's okay just a little draw off to the side for the eight into this side pocket as well. Yeah, that will do. Try it there. I like hitting the rail here. Yeah, I do. Complete the stroke. Short, compact stroke. Make sure you don't overstroke oh. it. Yeah. Talking earlier He's about stretching, stretching yeah. and it was one of them. You saw the, the waving of the cue. <clears throat> Over here, low left, one rail, back out to the center of the table. Yeah, and this is a shot right up her strasser, this one. Overcut two. Maybe. Two overcuts in a row. Maybe the shot clock just coming in. Put her off just a bit, maybe. Sometimes, of course, it's just choosing the wrong angle, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, I think she wanted to get a little straighter, did she? She's okay there. Doesn't need to hit the eight hard. No, just float it down, can't she? Float it over. Doesn't really even need spin here. Very nice. nice. She'll feel a lot better when this nine ball goes in. Well, especially after almost blowing this rack. Yeah, she must have thought it was all over when she missed that ball. But in it goes. First one on the board. 2-1 then. To Veronica Ivanovskaya. Let's have a look around the room, Tony. See what's going on. Laurie John Brown is in action. She's 1-1. One, one with Bean Hung. Jennifer Beretta, another legend, is up against the Canadian Brittany Bryant. They're 1-1 at the moment also. And April Larson, 1-0 down to Amalia Matassi's good friend, Mighty Ripero. There she is. Great girl around the arena. They're almost like a little family, the Spaniard team. Yeah, they really are. They're, they're, they're very uh, close. They yeah, support each other during their matches. And m most, of, most of the players here, when the, whatever country they come from, they, they, they come to support their, their fellow players, which I, I, I find to be very respectful, very awesome. 
Let's see if that six ball goes in the corner. Yeah, broke dry, didn't she, in the first mm -hmm. break after winning the leg? Yeah, it didn't go in, didn't didn't go go in, in the corner. Either. She went with power rather than yeah. accuracy. Yeah, and, and the cue ball actually hit the right side of the one. See? Yeah. Almost scratch, and then yeah. that, that changes the trajectory of the corner ball. Yeah, she jumped around a lot on that and went for a lot of power. Maybe just rein in the power a little bit, Tony. Go for accuracy and then build up rather than going all out. I was trying to figure out what, what was she trying to do there. I thought she had an opportunity to freeze a cue ball um, behind the six there with a little bit of follow. the safe ended up playing oh, wow. it quickly because of the shot clock <coughs> and she's left it I mean, it was a good hit, but it was tough to, to not leave anything from that position. I thought she was going to, like, try to mass a pass the eight and hit the one from underneath. At least trying to send it up table away from the two. It got nice on that two ball. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward. They might have to use the bridge here, mightn't she? She's quite a tall young lady, but she still needs it, look. And Veronica plays a lot of snooker as well, so she knows how to use the rest. Look at that style with the rest. Yeah. Elbow up, really, really good. Light grip on the cue. Keeping that rest handle still, laying it down on the bed. Hand on top of it, perfect technique. Make sure she uses it with the right speed so she won't have to use a bridge again. <laughs> All right, get on the correct side of the three. <coughs> yeah, she might have to play over to the side rail and back out again to the center of the table off of this, or can she run around the back of the nine, Tony? It's hard to tell from here. It almost looks like she's hitting yeah, she's it low. It. Done. Yeah, four is like in prime position for the five. It's almost like get straight and then you should stop, stop on the five, six or close to that. There's not a lot Rock can go wrong with this style of hers, is there? It's just <coughs> rock solid. Yep. Under pressure, that's where your consistency comes from, is those solid foundations. Yeah, deliberately came round to look at the position she wanted on that six ball, and she just let the cue ball go a little bit, which is exactly what she wanted. Gonna put the extension on her cue this time though. Just a little maybe six inch in extension. Do you play with an extension, Tony? Yeah. I actually have two extensions. Oh look, is she shaking a little bit? I have an extension for the extension for the extension. little angle here can just stun down either eight into the side or the bottom corner chose the bottom corner Look at 
the determination in her eyes. Send her to the pocket, man. You get the feeling the only ones that are going to trip her up are the really difficult ones. Nicely played. It's 3 1 now to the German, and we're going to nip off for a couple of minutes, guys. We'll be back soon. Welcome back, guys and girls, to Harris Casino here, Atlantic City. I'm sure you know, or you can see on that big banner at the back, the lovely LED panel. We're playing the Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championship 2023. Last played in 2019, Kelly Fisher won it then, and she still is the reigning champion. And she'll be on here next, Tony, 2 p.m. Kelly Fisher live in action on this very table against Wu Jin Lee. Oh, looking forward to that. Me as well. Meanwhile, looking forward to this next rack from Veronica. And Amalia made the wing ball. Another Still one. struggling with finding the center of that, that, that uh, the cube ball on the break. Yeah, I'm wondering, Tony, do you think they're hitting them a little bit hard because they're used to playing three-point rule? Could be. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. You know, like a, like a muscle memory type of thing, you know? Yeah. If you're always playing that three-point three rule, then you're used to smashing them so hard, right? Right. So it could be something to think about. But, you know, pool players are usually good at mimicking. You know, if you see someone's hitting like almost like a stop shot on the head ball, and they're get consistently making that corner ball. You should start off that way, trying to shoot it like a four-foot stop shot. It's like f about four-foot distance between the head string and the foot string. Well, that's a very good point. But no one can copy each other because neither of them have broken very well, have they, yeah. in this match? So yeah. maybe that's the thing, you know. No one's got some, a good yeah. standard. Well, I mean, I, I'm assuming, but maybe you're right, uh, that they uh, probably, because some I like to go and watch a match on the table that I'm supposed to play on and see where they're breaking from. I've been doing that for years. So that way I get a good idea of where, where to break from for my match. Amalia was here earlier before the match started, so I would assume that she would try. Well, look at that. Oh, unlucky. Well, she pushed out, and Amalia <clears throat> put her back in again, and she almost banked it in. And if that would have gone in, look... Yeah, she would have been perfect on three. Yeah, and 
and for Marley that has got maybe a little chink in her armour so to speak she does tend to jump up quite early yeah you know that's a cardinal sin in this game well, your go to guy with advice was always Buddy Hall mine was always Steve Davis and yeah. his father used to hold a book above his head or a cue and I don't want to feel your head touching this cue or the book, whatever. And his dad used to bang him on the head with the book if ever he did it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny what people do to improve. You know, I read an article in Builders Digest when I was about 20-something. It said that this man was so determined to learn how to stay down in his shot, he, he put a cowbell around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You got that in stereo. You got an ooh in stereo. You got a stereo. What a, what a gift that is. Oh, yeah. And that was to come within three, too, Mark. Whether she's going to try to go three rails, I mean four rails with the cue ball, or is she going to try to draw back? Let's I see. think she'll draw. She's going to try to draw back. Lots of cue power, this yeah. girl. Just draw it oh straight yeah. back down the table. The only thing is, is that nine ball going to hamper her? stance at all it is a little bit oh be careful referee John Lehman will be like Jason Shaw at Hawkeye here eagle eye yep she got has that perfectly there wow what a great shot I wouldn't have done it that way <laughs> I can tell you that for sure you just have to hit that too perfect to make sure you don't scratch but I would like prefer to have gotten dead straight on the six to draw to the other side of the nine, or go four rails to come around for the nine. Impressive. Yeah, Marley, I don't think feeling very happy sat in that chair there. Let's go around, bring you up to date with some scores. Been hung now, three one up over Laurie John Brown, Brittany Bryant, and Jeff and <laughs> Jennifer Beretta. Locked at 2-2, two -two. Sarah Rocker from Portugal, the lovely, I lived in Portugal for a year. She's 2-1 up against the young Canadian, 17-year-old Hannah Culeria. And April Larson taking a 2-1 lead over Mighty Rapero. Number six. Now let's see if she can work on this break. See if the corner ball goes in there, Mark. Let's see if she can find the center of the cue ball. She's just struggling to find the center of the cue ball. The yeah. corner ball went in. One in the win the side. Yeah, it's just that cue ball, and isn't it? She just mm -hmm. hasn't controlled yes. the cue ball She once. hasn't been able to control it, like you said. So she's going to be pushing out here. So Needs to aim a bit lower, Tony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just... It's almost like at the very last second, she's dropping her elbow just enough to raise that tip right yeah. as she's about to stroke the cue ball. Yeah, good spot. To strike the cue ball. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, well seen. Drop the elbow, the tip comes up. Now she pushing to a jump. Or is she going to let her see a bit of it? I think she meant to hit that a bit harder. Oh, no, that's okay. She's left her a piece of it. Not a nice piece, though. I think she'll give this back, Tony, won't she? Yeah, I will give it back. I, I, I mean, if I can see enough of the ball where I can bank it off the top rail and stop it in front of the 5-6 by the side and leave the cue ball, then I might consider taking the shot. But, you know, it all depends on whether or not she can avoid the scratch in the upper left-hand corner as well. And she might just try to undercut this and play a safe. I mean, overcut it and play a safe. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a dangerous shot. That's that's a dangerous shot. 
So, right decision then from Amalia to put her back in. I mean, she's going to play it safe. She's better off just overcutting the two ball there. She's got to hit that ball too, too perfect. Well, to be honest, she has been hitting them perfect, so maybe that's why she went for that. Could be. No such thing as perfection, though, is there, Tony? Or is there? When you do, you know, I think that's kind of, I, I had this discussion before, I tell people for years, I think the reason why we all are glutton for punishment when it comes to the game of pool is because we're always in never-ending search for perfection, even though we can only achieve perfection. Wow, look at that. Even though you can only achieve perfection for small increments at a time, but never for, uh, for the long run where you're just playing perfect every day. There's no living human being that can say you never miss a ball. She caught you see that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, unfortunately for Amalia, she's struggling a little bit. See, she gets around that five six. Wow. Very nice. I can't believe, yeah, lovely shot. Beautiful touch, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Two rows here. Back to left of centre of the table, about that angle that she was just looking at. I don't think her expression has changed. <laughs> no, not has at it? all. Well, she has the look of a stone cold killer. Well, I was just going to say, she. You know, have you heard of Madame to Swords? Yes, she the wax looks, museum. Yeah, right? she looks like a wax <laughs> worker. <laughs> you know, just so. <laughs> Only you will come up with something well, like no, that. No, you know, I mean it in a nice. <laughs> I mean it in a nice way. Well, I mean the, 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 that museum they used to have one in Times Square in New York. Wow, he looked exactly like the person that, that, that they made. It's very impressive. They made the wax work of you. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Do they really? Yeah. Huh? Oh, what a no, shot! No. Wow, that was. Absolute perfect speed right there. I mean, you come a little short, you're done. You you hit a little hard, you're done. She hit that with just the right speed. She just send the cue ball over to the right slightly, like that. <coughs> well, I remember at the start of this match, you said. You'd never seen this girl play, had I, and I told you. I said, just watch, and I want your opinion. Well, like I said, we were talking about it during the break. I, I think she's very, very impressive. And it's no, s watching her play, it's no surprise that she was the highest finishing female in the world champion. You said the world championship, World right? pool championship, yeah. yeah. I, I believe it was, it was one of the big, yeah. big, big 192 player or whatever, 256 player event, actually, I think it was. It was an open event, in it goes, and we're going to nip out just for a very quick minute. See you soon, guys. Welcome back. Commanding lead here for the German, Veronica Ivanovskaya. 5-1, breaking to go on the hill. And although she's been making balls with monotonous regularity, she hasn't been able to control the cue ball yet. Let's see if she can here. Has she learned anything from the last one? The cue right in line with her hair, look. The, the parting in her hair. 
once again made lost the ball, ball and she's lost, lost the cue ball, ball and she's really lost it. Look at the nine oh ball. look at the nine ball. Yeah, she's gonna you better believe she's gonna sh shoot that nine ball. Yeah, well, I, mean, she, I, don't I, well, I, just, I don't know if she has enough room to put place a cue ball there. If not, I mean it's a pretty enough easy run out. Well, she walks back to her chair with a, a look of, you know, oh god, how unlucky was that? But she she wasn't really unlucky <laughs> because she didn't hit them well, did she? I mean, if there's one area that I think she needs to really work on is her break, unless she does have a spectacular break and it's just off today. Because I mean, this is the first time I'm watching her play. Well, I think it's got something to do with the format they usually play. I honestly do. Meaning? Oh, look at <gasps> she's gone for the nine. Oh, wow. She went for the nine, I think, as well with a cue ball. Did, did she? I don't think so. I think she just missed the one ball. Oh, dear. Amalia. I don't think she was trying to play the one uh, the nine ball. I think she was just trying to go two rails for the two ball. Because she would have had to end up with more angle. She was up off the shot again. Remember I said that mm -hmm. before? She's got that little thing in her yeah. technique where she does move a lot. Wow. Wow, what a turnaround. Well, when Veronica walked back to her chair after scratching on the break, she must have thought, seeing that nine ball going, I'm all, it's all over for this rack. And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden, she gets the chance, and with it, on the hill. And remember, guys, this is a one-loss side match. The loser of this goes home. Hmm. Laurie John Brown making a comeback 3 2 now. She's down to Bean Hunt. Maggie Maraj is 4 2 up against Angeline Tikoalu. Let's see if she makes that adjustment on the break, Mark. Yeah, if I said one thing to her, it would be about the break. Everything else has been perfect. That's better. At yep. least she's done something yeah. different. Yeah. She's drawn the cue yep. ball back this time. Mm -hmm. So she has adjusted slightly, Tony, which is good to see. It's a good sign. It means that she's, you know, taking notice of what's going on. And a little less pace as well, if I'm honest. Took a bit off it as well. Yeah. And strangely enough, would have made the three-point rule as well, which <laughs> yeah. I was talking about. <laughs> Overcut that one. Yeah, very difficult shot trying to slow roll it like that. Yeah, Malia might not have a choice but to put it behind the eight here. I like putting the cube behind the eight here. Kind of using nine as a blocker too. Now then, another area maybe was the kicking. And Veronica, she struggled with the slide. Can you go two rails here, Tony? I don't know. I don't know if he, she can get past. I don't think so. The, nine, uh, the, the nine's, nine's definitely in the, in the way, yeah. way, yeah. Yeah. I think she's just going to have to come one rail. She can either hit it super soft, so that way she just barely freezes on the two ball. She can hit it, if she's going to hit it with some speed, I would hit it with enough speed. So if I like have to accord the two ball, the cue ball might end up having a chance of going, keep staying down table while the two goes up table. Oh, good shot. Yeah. Good, good hit anyway. Yeah, it's a good hit. It's like, but I like I said, you either hit it soft or you hit it hard. And hitting it at that speed, you're almost always going to leave the cue ball next to the two ball. Yeah, I mean, she double kissed it. To be mm -hmm. honest, mm -hmm. if she'd have caught it a little thinner, then the cue ball yeah, would might have come have back down this result, way. Yeah. yeah. Does it go <coughs> past the five? Nope. No, it doesn't. Oh, oh, 
I think the jump key's coming out here. It is Lufthansa. Here we go. <laughs> Great airline, Lufthansa. It is. Yeah, terrific. And she's tall as well, so she can get right up over this, and she needs to. Needs to get it down quickly. Wow, oh, wow. jump straight over, over it. Balls. Was that a little, was that a little smile? Yeah, I think it was the, the shot clock as well. Rush, made her rush the final stroke. Well, Malia needs to run out here. If she still has any hopes of staying alive. to see it just slow down a, a fraction just take that extra couple of seconds now let's have a look at the style with the bridge of Amalia obviously can't get the can't get it down because the seven's in the way and she's took it quickly Let's see she comes one rail and plays a seven in the lower hand pocket or is she gonna go for the side? I think she was going for the corner, but she might have come short, let's see. Yeah, a little bit in between, but <coughs> it's okay. She can still play it in the corner. Yeah. Oh she's looking at it in the side then. That means she's gonna have to hit it low. Yeah, pulling that cue ball away from the pocket. Extension. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just hitting it low draw and just, even if you end up straight on the eight ball, shoot the, the, the seven in the corner. I mean, worst case scenario, if it hangs in the pocket, it, you might, you might, you have the eight as a potential blocker. Yeah, she's looking at that now. <coughs> she's changed her mind, and rightly so, in my opinion. Mm, oh, same goal, played three it reps. very confidently. She hit it too hard, though? Nope. Hit it just about perfect if she can reach it left handed. Very nice. can she? Gonna have to get the bridge. Confident shot though, good to see. So another one on the scoreboard for the Spaniard, you would think. In it goes, crashes the nine ball in. So, Tony, next up on this table, Kelly Fisher, reigning champion against Wu Jin Lee, South Korea. Are you looking forward to that one? I am. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm familiar with Wu Jin Lee. Uh, she plays in most of the tournaments. I, I think okay. you will have seen her. Maybe she hasn't had a lot of TV table time, so that'll okay. be maybe a, an advantage for Kelly. But Kelly came through... A very, very tough match yesterday as well against Inner Kaplan, another German. Yeah, I think she said she was down 5 2, 5 3. 5 3, she was down, back. yeah, and then came back. <coughs> Inner ran a three pack, and then Kelly ran a five pack. Wow. So she's, uh, she, she's, in, she's in form. <laughs> she's been practicing hard for this, as all these ladies have, because the standard has been fabulous. Oh, yeah. These first two days. Well, you can tell that everyone worked very hard for this championship, especially. Oh, Ooh, no. It was unfortunate for Amalia. Oh, again, though, it's that break, which neither of these two have mastered in this particular match, Tony. And the cue ball went straight to the side. Drew it straight to the side and had tons of spin, too. Well, look at this for a chance then. 
to advance to the next round. Nicely judged. That's such a nice touch. Seven years old. Who's that? Veronica. Veronica. Twenty seven. Actually originally from St. Petersburg, but moved to Germany very young and is a a national of Germany and now residing in South Africa. Pretoria, I believe. And her and her partner have just acquired a pool room, which she told me is going to be open in March. Oh, wow, that's great. And even more great news is it's going to be all Predator tables, I believe eight. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Predator in Pretoria. Oh, uh -oh where's uh -oh, the uh -oh, cue uh -oh, ball uh -oh, gone? Uh -oh, that's oh, going this straight is to a the bad side. mistake. That's Amalia still alive. Would you believe it? She's probably well, like, Amalia look almost so... S more of a shock than surprise because she never, got into she, that. she never expected to get back to the table. Wow. <clears throat> Maybe a little wry smile there. Okay, you're thinking, well, I've got a 6 2 lead, so I've got another, going to get another chance, maybe. Or definitely, I should say. Yeah. I mean, unless she's playing the 6 in the side, she got kind of funny on that one. Yeah, she does pl tend to play shots a little bit quickly and mm -hmm. doesn't pay enough attention to to the next shot, in my opinion. Yeah. And then has to come with big shots, but she can come with big shots. There's yeah, another one to play. One. Needs to avoid the side pocket here, Tony, though. Is that going to come into play? Drawing off this with English. It all depends if she rolls. I mean, if she's going to draw it with uh, left, then yeah, she needs to make sure she hits it a little bit on the slower side. It doesn't take a lot of speed to, to, to really get the cue ball up there if you're hitting it with low left. Because you're hitting so little of the ball, the cue ball's going to end up with tons of speed. Oh, and she see yeah. what I mean? Very quick on the shot again yeah. there. Very she quick. Make it? She has made it. She's made it. Wow. <coughs> No reaction from the... Oh, she missed that by a long way. Yeah, I think here I, I would just thin the aid and leave the cue ball downtown. Just keep keep her at a distance. Yeah, she looks very dejected, doesn't she? She's in that place all players hate to be. Yeah, where you're so just it's out of sorts. It's disappointing when you're, when you're underperforming in a, in a major world championship like this. She's thinking of going for this, is she? That's what it looks like, right? Yeah. She's gone for the bank, is she? Strange choice if she did. Yeah. I don't understand that at all. Why she didn't just thin the eight. That was almost like Tyler Steyer in the... <laughs> In the uh, the Moscone Cup, remember when he tried the f the four the four railer instead of thinning the eight ball? Yeah, I remember that. I remember Strange that, yeah. choice of shot in my mind. Watch the cue ball here, though. Watch, oh, she's fine. What a great shot! How well she hit this. Well, I think. To steal one of Tony Robles's lines. That's all she wrote. And we're going to be back 2 p.m. local time with Kelly Fisher against Wu Jin Lee. Well played, Veronica. Well deserved the win. Amalia Matas, unfortunately, is out of this year's Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championship. We'll be back at 2 p.m., guys. Enjoy your lunch. See you soon. <laughs>